Though we have faith and reasonable hope for forgiveness, we must each face the fact that our actions create a banquet of consequences. In your case, you may think this is a mean supper, but you chose it. If your mother were alive, she'd think this is best. Whatever father said to you, don't take it to heart. Kent and I have a little present for you, for later. You'll be late for the train. Dear, you look just like your mother. I was so sorry to hear she passed away. Thank you. Oh, is this it? For now, yes. Well, we have quite a little drive ahead of us. Do you need to use the station services? Yes, please, pardon me. Here they grow mostly grains, a bit of sugar beets, vegetables. No gasoline shortage for farmers, they get all they want. No sugar shortage either. That's nice. Olivia. Yes, ma'am. How do you do? Mr. Singleton's in the parlor. Mr. Ray Singleton, this is Miss Olivia Dunn. Livy. Everyone calls me Livy. Ray's sister's waiting in the church. Well, we'll just leave you two to get acquainted a moment. Raymond, why don't you pour some lemonade for Livy? Yes, ma'am. We'll be in the church when you're ready. Thank you. 
Mr. Singleton. Ray, please. Ray, uh, now that you've had a chance to meet me, to see me in person, do you have any doubts? No, ma'am. Are you, uh, <clears throat> you having second thoughts? No. Do you think you'll be able to love the baby? Well, I do. Is there anything that you'd like to ask me? Um, no. You're so fine, I can't believe no man. I can't believe any man would ever do this to you. And do you, Raymond, take Olivia to be your lawful wedded wife? I do. The rings? Uh, I didn't. I don't have a ring. I don't, I don't need one. <sighs> fine. Bound by these sacred bonds, may you vow to imitate Christ in your new life together. To give one another hope when there is sorrow, strength when there is weakness, faith and understanding when there is confusion or doubt. In such a love we are sustained on this earthly life, just as we hope for eternal life through our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. I now pronounce you man and wife. Martha, Hank, if you'd please sign as witnesses. Congratulations, Ray. I'm Martha. I'm Ray's sister. Pleased to meet you. This is my husband, Hank. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Congratulations, Ray. I hesitated to bring the children today. Thought we'd give you a chance to settle in and. Oh, Ray, hold on. Just a sec. This is a little casserole for supper. I thought you must be tired from all your traveling. Thank you, that's very thoughtful. Now, Ray, you bring Olivia over to see us real soon, okay? Well, welcome to the family, huh? Neighbors. Hmm? Your neighbors, who are they? Uh, well, my sister. <clears throat> she and Hank live eight miles that way. that garden your mother's? Uh, yes, it was. Someone sounds unhappy. Uh, it's just a dog. Put him in the shed so he won't jump on you. there. 
Martha's room, and uh, this was my parents' room, where you'll be staying. This be all right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. This is the bunk room. brother? I do. Well, I did. Daniel got killed at Pearl Harbor. This is the bathroom. Indoor plumbing. Got your hot water, cold water. I just put that in. Where's the telephone? Well, there's a Phone box in Wilson outside the post office. Tomorrow I'll get anything you want to stock the kitchen. I don't really know how to cook. I mean, I could, I just haven't really tried. I can cook a fair bit. My sister could come over and teach you, I bet. No, I, it's fine. You know, it, it shouldn't be that hard. I can get a book from the library. Is there a library? Oh, yeah, in La Junta. That's an hour away. Yeah, about that. The Reverend said you'd had lots of schooling. I was in graduate school, studying archaeology. My college thesis was Heinrich Schliemann's excavation of Troy. Is he German? Yes. Is he a Nazi? No, he, he lived in the 19th century. Uh, Mrs. Pratt from church. She uh, she makes me a cake nearly every week. This one's uh, chocolate, I think. Yeah. Can I cut you a slice? No, thank you. Well, we'll save it then. Ray. I was just wondering why you agreed to this. When the Reverend came out to see me and told me about your situation, I thought, I thought maybe it'd be God's will. God's will. You want anything else? No, thank you. Well, farmers get to bed early. You have everything you need. Yes, thank you. All right. Good night. Good night.
Slept so late. You needed your rest. <laughs> Franklin, no. Hey, come here. Come here. He won't hurt you. Good boy. I thought I'd drive into La Junta today. Um, maybe look around town, let the family know that I'm here. Can I borrow the truck? Oh, well, uh, the beatbox has a mind of its own. The beatbox. I use that truck to haul my beats. Right. It's best if I drive you over. Oh, I mean, I'm sure you have things you need to do. No bother. I'm glad to do it. Just uh, get my library card. Just want to check out some cookbooks. Are those tomatoes? Potatoes. Some of the fields are empty. You bet. Why? Uh, well, we harvested the first cash crop, winter wheat. Next, we'll harvest some beets and those potatoes. May I help? Well, I doubt it. You're right. I, I don't know anything about farming. <laughs> Got the house to take care of. Need any change? Uh, no, I have it, thank you. I'll be in the library. Expecting a little one? Yes, ma'am, we are. Oh, wonderful. Yes, ma'am. Do 
you have any books on Henry Schliemann? Is that S-H or S-C-H? Oh, your guess is better than mine. I think he was an archaeologist. Let me have a look. If father wanted to punish me, he's done a great job. Oh, Livy, don't cry. Oh, hon, is he horrid? No, no. Livy, if he mistreats you for even one second, I'm coming to get you. Abby, is there any word from Edward? No. Oh, Livy, remember, this isn't forever. I know. All right, now the clutch tends to stick. You gotta ease off slow. There you go. <laughs> Give it a pump. That's it. This is easy. Now the gas gauge says full, but it isn't. You gotta hit it just right and it'll tell you the truth for one split second and it shoots right back up there to full. Where do I hit it? Uh, right there. Just give it a pump. Yeah, quick like. That's it. We have half a tank. The gas can's in back, just in case. Wow, look at that. Are they Japanese? Watch the road. They're from Camp Amache. That's an internment camp. Yes, it is. Farms are short-handed. The government needs the food, so they send the workers. They work your farm? Our farm. Yes, they do. pray for the relief of suffering and an end to war throughout the world. Amen. Ruth's been dying to meet you. She's my oldest. Hi, Ruth. I'm Livy. And the boys are running around, but they'll come in when they realize the food's in here. Is your dress store-bought? You take care of oh, my. Yes, it is. I bet it was. Well, Ray, are you going to introduce us? Yes, ma'am, Miss Parker. This is my wife, Livy. Your wife? Well, how do you do? Nice to meet you. Your wife? I'm Miss Parker. I've known Ray since he was this high. And this is Mrs. Pratt? Goodness me, we never knew. So pleased to meet you. And Martha never said a word. Yes, aren't we all blessed? Yes. <laughs> Sweetheart, will you help me at the table? Bye. Bye. You must not be from here. We've been so worried about Ray. The way things have played out here. And not a single young woman to speak of. And Ray, such a fine young man. <laughs> How'd you meet? I eloped. Uh, we met in Denver. How romantic. I never knew you traveled to Denver. You come sit by me at the potluck. Uh, we'd like to stay, but we got to get on. But we're really going to enjoy your cake, Miss Pratt. Thank you. Oh, you're, you're most very welcome. welcome. <laughs> Bye. 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 I just have a letter I need to drop at the post office. It's Sunday. I can mail it for you tomorrow. Oh, it already has a stamp on it. I'm just going to drop it in the box to my sister. Can you swim here? 
right shallow for swimming. It's two feet of silt down there. You like to swim? I used to. I still have to swim. Thank you for lying to Mrs. Pratt. The middle of the day is not the best time for fishing. Being out here is the point. Fishing's just an excuse, I suspect. I'm sorry, what, what were you studying? Um, butterflies. Do you collect? No. We blog our observations in, in our notebook. I'm Livy. I, I live in the farmhouse. We, we were just getting back to work. No, wait, wait. Uh, what did I cause you to miss? What, were you, what kind of butterfly did you see? It was a common blue. <gasps> there! <laughs> Are, are there many species here? Yes, hundreds. Like what? Uh, silver spotted skippers, morning cloaks, hawk moths, mm -hmm. speck of woods. <gasps> May I see your book? Beautiful. Thank you. Look. There. Oh, what is it? Yeah. A sulfur. Some species of sulfur. No, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> Franklin, no. Uh, is your dog? No. <laughs> well, um, are, are you thirsty? We should get back to work. Come to the house anytime you have... Uh, we have cold colas in the icebox. Thank you. Wait! What are your names? Uh, Rosa Mahara. And Flory. <sighs> Bye. Bye. Go away, Franklin. Go away. I'm almost four months pregnant. Yes, that's what I would have guessed. It was a mistake. Well, when the baby arrives, she won't see it as a mistake anymore. I'd like to believe you. Then do so, Mrs. Singleton. Well, I'd say we're looking at the third week of December. A Christmas baby. Mm. While we're in town, I need to mail a letter. Everything go all right? Everything's right on schedule. Did he say when the baby was coming? December. I could have told you that before. <sighs> People will know. People will know the baby's early. What will they think then? I don't care what people think. I don't see how you could be immune. People judge, people gossip. 
They won't say a thing. Why is that? Well, they want the best for us. Smells good. A fiesta omelet. Maybe I put too many jalapeno peppers in it. <clears throat> no, it's real good. Real good cooking. The cheese. I forgot the cheese. It might mellow it. Hold on. What is that? That'll be Hank. What's that? What's that sound? It's the claw. What are you doing with that thing? You said you like to swim. I dig you a hole so summertime you and the children can go swimming. Children? Couldn't miss it, Hank. Not every day somebody digs a hole. <laughs> that one that flew by there, that's Chester, and this is Hank Jr. Hello, Hank Jr. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Do you like my hair? You look lovely. She asked me to do it up just like yours. Hank, honey, keep a watch on your brother. Make sure he doesn't get under that thing. So, have you chosen a name for your baby? Ruth. Well, you told me Uncle Ray and Aunt Libby were having a baby. Aren't you? I, I haven't thought of a name yet. <laughs> I like the name Patricia. My parents had to go and name you Ruth. <laughs> Ruth is an old biblical name. It's a very beautiful one, in my opinion. Thank you. Maybe now she'll keep it. Scoot on out of here, boys. Uncle Ray's at the wheel. Martha, did you grow up in this house? I did. Our grandpa built it. And before that, he and grandma lived in a dugout, which is still over there by the south field. Right? Really? So you, you never lived anywhere else? Nope. Our younger brother, Danny, was the adventurous one. Oh, I forgot I was wearing it. <laughs> Ruth, don't cry. It's as if your mother didn't teach any manners. Isn't there a 
a manual for that thing? <laughs> Their word, you think they'd read it? <laughs> I didn't ask him to do that, to dig a swimming hole. I don't know why he's going to the trouble. And he just wants to please you. I may not dance. Oh, Martha will just be glad we're there. She's always been a fool for dancing. Slim's her favorite. Don't you ever wonder what else is out there beyond the farm? Sometimes. Aren't you curious how other people live? I enjoy a drive, but I like coming back to my place, sleeping on my land. Your land. It seems every war in human history is about owning the land. I like the Indian view, that we're just temporary guardians on the land where we live. It's not temporary to me. But your family's owned this land for less than a hundred years. In the span of history, that's nothing. span of a life. It's near everything.
We're here tonight to celebrate a birthday. I've known this fine young lady since since I was slim. <laughs> Martha, Hank says you're a fine wife. That's the truth, Slim. The best. We know you're a fine mother. You bet. And you're a first class friend. Happy birthday. Thank yeah. you. Thank you for your best from our overseer. Oh. oh, but we shouldn't tell you that. This is your land. My husband's. He's handsome. Who? Your husband. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, where were you before the war? California. Mm -hmm. Born and raised. We were both at USC. What were your majors? Mine was English. English. I hope to teach literature someday. Rose is a long-term planner. Everything in her life, she plans 10 years in advance. <laughs> you didn't plan on this, did you, Rose? Picking potatoes? At least I had plans. <sighs> I hadn't declared my major yet. Too many things interested me. Mm -hmm. Too many boys. <laughs> I was in graduate school in Denver, studying archaeology. Someday, I wanted to go to Turkey to see the lost cities of Ephesus and Troy. Really? <sighs> Why did you leave your studies? My mother got sick, and Abby, uh, my sister, was already married, so I left school to be with her until she died. I'm sorry. And then, before I knew it, I was swept off my feet, and now I'm here. <laughs> That's so romantic. <laughs> when are you expecting? Flory. Sorry. No, I didn't realize it showed. <laughs> Forgive us for prying. Do you need maternity clothes? I hadn't really thought about it yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, our father's a tailor. We all sew in the family. Choose the fabric and we'll make you something. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Wind's turned, coming out of the north. I made friends with two girls from the work crew today. They study butterflies, and I was thinking I could take them for a drive in the mountains sometime. Japanese? Well, they're American. Those Americans who look Japanese. You blame them for Pearl Harbor, for Daniel? I'm not as stupid as you think. I know they're not the same people who bombed Pearl Harbor. They kept our crops going the past couple of years. I never said you were stupid. And I never said I disliked them. I just said they were Japanese, that's all. And you keep your distance. Look, I got a lot to do around here. I got to keep this place going pretty much on my own. I don't go into the fields to, to socialize. 
Rose and Flory both went to USC. I can't tell you how good it is to talk about something other than crops and the weather. I bet. Thank you, Lord, for your gifts. And may we be ever mindful of your love. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Pass the taters. <laughs> I'll put your napkin on your lap first. Would you care for a roll, Libby? Sure. Thanks. Ray? Well, I'm considering beans in the North Field. Are you? Mm. Price of beans can't go anywhere but up. Yeah. Well, what do you think? I've been thinking about... about Troy. Troy who? The city of, the lost one, over there in Turkey. Turkey. Homer wrote about it in the Iliad. No one knew if there really had been such a city or if Troy was merely a myth until an archaeologist found it. <laughs> How do you lose a city? Under the sand. They, uh, they had to excavate it. Well, I'll be. <laughs> we could have we could have dug it up, Ray. <laughs> With a <the> claw. <laughs> So, Ray, are you going to plant some beans this year? If you think we ought to. Is it father? No, he's fine. It's Kent. They shipped him out. He left last week. Oh, hon, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's worse than I ever imagined. You're out in the middle of nowhere. There are more people around than you'd think. We haven't heard from you in almost a month. I know. I've just been getting adjusted, I guess. Liv, that skirt is too small for you. Uh, <laughs> come inside, come inside. I want you to move back to Denver and stay with me. Abby, how could I do that? How could you not? You're not having your baby on a beet farm. I need your help. With Kent overseas for who knows how long, I'll go mad in that house alone. You've no idea how lonely it is. I used to feel that way when I was caring for Mother. I would just sit there waiting for those minutes a day she was awake. It wasn't fair for Daddy to drop the entire burden of caring for Mother on you. I had my hands full with Kent. But we'd have such a good time now, Liv. Just the two of us. Until Kent got home. Ray, look who's here. This is my sister, Abby. Nice to meet you. Hello. 
Welcome. about it's the weather. <laughs> Livy, when are you coming home? What about the baby? I'll babysit. You can go back to school. Why not? Father's satisfied. You're married. There'll be no baby born out of wedlock. There's more than one way to work the rumor mill, Livy. A few well-chosen words among the gossips at church. What do you mean? The Denver ladies will be tripping over themselves to offer you sympathy. Who knew he drank or had that temper? Can you imagine raising a child in a home like that? No, that's not Ray. So? Ray, no. Ray's the most gentle man I've ever met. This has nothing to do with him. It's about doing what's best for you. Any word from Edward? No. Livy, you had so many plans. No one deserves to stay married to someone they don't love. Especially not you. Give my love to Father. I will. Does he ever ask about me? Yes, often. <laughs> You're a terrible liar. Will you mail this letter for me? Sure. Bye. Love you. Mm. Mm. singing. What was it? It's just a song Daddy'd sing to us kids. I was trying to remember it so I could sing it to the baby. My sister wants me to go back to Denver to deliver in the hospital. Where is she? She left already. I'll make some lunch. <laughs> Swallowtail. Probably a western tiger. Those spots, the spots on the wings are beautiful. False eyes. Oh, Flory, did you get it? <laughs> Got it. <laughs> False eyes confuse its enemy. Moths have them too. How can you tell a moth from a butterfly? Moths rest with their wings spread. Butterflies put their wings together. Hmm. And more often, moths have protective coloring, so they blend in. Butterflies are bold. <laughs> <laughs> Just look at some of the species we found. See? Colors. Mm. <laughs> what is this? That was strictly for our observations, Flory. Stop fussing. Perfect. Flory! Oh, 
This is nice. After your second beer. <laughs> What's your husband's favorite color? I don't know. <laughs> What's yours? Blue and red. Like the false eyes on a swallowtail. Yes, exactly. What's this? Ooh, I love that. Oh, good. Your father is makes the, the finest yes. suits. Mm. Uh, it would be wonderful if you could come and Would you please not today. handle the fabric? I'm going to buy this. Are you with these people? Yes, I am. Well, if they could get on with their business, the management would appreciate it. Uh, what else do we need here? Hey, ask me how I knew my true love was true. <laughs> I, of course, replied, something here inside cannot be denied. Germans. Those are German POWs. I'm late. I found the dugout. The dugout that Martha was talking about? Look, arrowheads. Libby, I don't mean to disappoint you, but my granddaddy owned a gun. I'm sure he didn't use a bow and arrow. No, I know that, but he or your grandmother were interested enough to collect them. Look, a whole jar of flints. Someone in your family was a budding archaeologist. Look at this one. I so wish father could have done this himself. 
He's the expert. But he hasn't been well since the move. They took his work. Mm. And our house. Still, he says, we must prove our loyalty. We must show them we are good Americans. He buys war bonds. Sorry. Mother's no better, Livy. She made us clean the house. Stop. We had to sell the house for half its worth. Yet my mother insisted we clean it for the new owners. We even waxed the floors. <laughs> I still don't understand why you're so angry about that. Of course you wanted to present a clean house. It was stolen from us, Rose. You know why there are so few young men at Camp Amache? Why? They were drafted. The 442nd Regiment, fighting in France. Enough! And Rose is like our parents. Always proper, always good. on one of the farms. He was guarding the German POWs working there. He gave me this. <laughs> oh. It belonged to his mother. <laughs> you must be very special to him. <laughs> he tells me I am. <laughs> Flory, we have to get back. Rose is just jealous. <laughs> um, but I want you to meet him. Will you? Of course I will. Good. <laughs> Thank you. What is his name? Walter. Bye, Livy. Bye. Bye, Bye, Bye Livy. Thank you. Bye. Why on earth did you bring him up? the shed. Where is the burlap bag? What did you do with it? Livy. near the bottom of the pile. It hadn't caught fire. Maybe this is a working farm. If some doesn't have a use, I throw it out. I thought it was trash. It's not trash. It's history. It's your history. Do anything. Do anything to make you happy. I know. I know that. Dear Livy, if you like junk, you'll like the cellar. Be careful, it's dusty down there.
higher. Wait. Uh, I'm not sure why we're putting an old ox yoke inside the house. It was probably that very yoke your grandfather used to first break this land. Yeah, well, it's about to break my back. <sighs> I want to show you the family history that means the most to me. Talk me into a deal. If I'd stay behind and work the farm, he'd join the Navy. Landlocked his whole growing up. He was always dreaming of the ocean. I was the oldest. I should have gone. Remember, your phone is ring, ring, ring. Come on, Daddy, let's get to Wilson. All right, let's go. <laughs> You hear only ring, that's Ms. Paulson. Ring, ring is the McGregor's. Ring, ring, ring. That's your signal. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? We're talking on the telephone. <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, it you. works. <laughs> We don't have animals in this house. Get out! Get out! Get out now! Get out! Get out! It's just for tonight. It's terribly cold out there. I grew up here. I ate at this table. For all my growing up, my mama never let a dog in this house, and I won't either. You'll freeze. Livy Dunn. I'm guessing he didn't know you were married, huh? I'm taking the night shift at the beat factory. It's something I sometimes do this time of year. 
Don't bother waiting up. I didn't know what you had for breakfast because I've never been up that early. But I made you some eggs and some oatmeal. There's no need. Just plain eggs. There's no onions or peppers. Ray, wait. I'm sorry that I let Franklin in the house. I did not realize what an insult that would be to you. With all the other animals in that barn, that dog would be fine. I have something I want to tell you. My first day here, I looked in your dresser. I can't even explain why I did it. I'm sorry. You could have looked in there anytime you wanted. I got nothing to hide from you. There was a watch. I could hear it ticking. I've never seen you carry it. It's my father's. Sometimes I wind it up when I want to remember him. I remembered how good he was to my mama. The kind of husband I want to be. First day, I wound it up for no good reason. Just for luck. Ray, I made a mistake. Which mistake would that be, huh? Being with him or marrying me? Would it be easier if I left? Thing you like about me, Livy. Chester. Mama, it's Aunt Livy. Hi. Hi. Oh. Ruth was just talking about you. And here you are. It's like you read my mind. See, we don't need a telephone. Yes, we do. I was thinking of you too, Ruth. I was wondering if you wanted to have this dress. As big as I am now, I can't imagine ever fitting into it again. Hat comes with it. Mm. Can I try it? Go on. Hmm. Did Ray tell you? I don't know the details. He and Hank had to go over to the beat factory. Why don't you come in and sit down? For months, I've, I've written the father of this baby. I thought he died. I didn't realize... No, he... He's a flight instructor. We... He never went overseas. We met on furlough. And for months, I've... printed him these letters. I know it was wrong. For the longest time, I didn't hear from him. And as long as I didn't hear from him... I can imagine that he wanted me. I finally got a letter. Congratulations, Livy. You're a wonderful girl. And I only hope you find the father of this baby because I sincerely doubt that I'm responsible. I know that I've hurt Ray. My sister. 
doctor wants me to go back to Denver to have the baby. It might be best if I leave after Thanksgiving. When Ray loves a person, it's with his whole heart. Losing our baby brother to the war nearly killed him. If you're planning on leaving, do it soon. You know, there's one thing I've never heard you say. And that's how you feel about Ray. Mama. <laughs> Livy, Livy. It's all right. What happened? Calling out. Calling out for your mama. After mama died. So lonely. I gave my life away just to be held by a stranger. How can I do that? Ray, you are such a good. Thanksgiving. Oh, it was so kind of you to bake us a pie. Happy Thanksgiving. Libby tells me you're from California. Yes, we are. Yeah. Libby? I've never what? been to California. Can we talk? I <laughs> Do you think you can meet my boyfriend two weeks from Saturday? Sure. Perhaps uh, we could go for a drive just to get away from here for the afternoon. All right. <laughs> what time? How's noon? I'll pick you up here. Oh, no, I'm um, not here, Livy. Uh, on the road by the grain elevators. All right. <laughs> Thank you, Livy. <laughs> I'm grateful for all of you, of course. But I'd also like to pray that this war will soon be over. And I'm thankful for the harvest this year. God's been good to us. I'm thankful that the baby's coming and I'm going to have a cousin. I'm grateful that Daniel's seat beside me isn't empty. I've... I've learned more about love in my six months with this family than I did in the 25 years in my father's house. I have... I have received love here. And I have received forbearance. And I thank you. I will always remember you. Every one of you. Happy Thanksgiving. Amen. Let's dig in. Goodbye to the girls. That's well, all right. He can stay if he wants. It's awful cold. When you come out here, I know you saw this as an agreement between your daddy and Reverend Case. Marion wasn't your idea. 
I know you may have your mind set on leaving, but I can't let you go without telling you how I feel. I've fallen in love with you. And I love that baby. For me, you're the best thing that's ever happened. Livy, you're a fine and talented woman. You're a pitiful cook, but it doesn't matter. I can do the cooking. I know you had your heart set on going to faraway places, but there's a good bit of history right here in Otero County. If you like Indian canyons and dugouts, I'll help you find them. You can dig around all you want. Sound like I'm trying to sell you something. That day, when the preacher married us, I forgot the ring. I have one now. Ray, the truth is, I don't know if I deserve you. How do you know this could work? I know, because... Someday you're going to forgive yourself. Walter. Hello, so nice to meet you. Um, where, where do oh, you... Oh, uh, we thought we'd go south, where we saw the swallowtails. That's almost to New Mexico. Uh, Walter's on leave, and he's got a cousin down that way. I thought we could drop him off. You'll freeze. He's fine. Walter's from Idaho. <laughs> he's tough. Um, well, uh, let's get going. We have a long drive. Are you insane? What are you talking about? What did he promise you? I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry. I've seen him on the work crew. Did you make his uniform? If you'd rather not take me and Walter for a drive, you should just let us out here, Libby. Flory! Stop it! You're just jealous because he loves me. If he loves you, why would he leave? As soon as this war is over, he'll be free. If anyone finds out you helped this man, you and Rose will be accused of treason. You could go to prison for the rest of your lives. Lori, that uniform ties her not only to you, but to your family, to your father and your mother. Father and mother had nothing to do with it. Nor does Rose. Listen to me. I'm gonna go home. You're gonna burn every scrap of fabric left from that uniform. You're gonna take that bracelet and you're gonna throw it into a field. Walk away, Flory, and never look back. You're lonely and you're reaching out for something to make it better. But you can't do this. You'll be paying for it the rest of your life. Flory? Get out of the truck, both of you. Tell them that it's safer if you don't travel with them.
Walter, let me be frank with you. You'll never make it across the border dressed as an MP. Nine. Come with me. This way. My husband's room is right up these stairs. Open the wardrobe and put on some clothes. Leave the clothes that you're wearing on the floor. My husband will be home any minute. Hurry. loves you. Soon this war will be over and you'll be free. If you leave now, how will you find her? Do you have something to drink, Peter? Yes, I can make some coffee. Come on, Franklin. Operator, could you please connect me to the sheriff's department? Oh. <sighs> sheriff, this is Libby Singleton, Ray Singleton's wife. I want you to know that an escaped POW has just stolen my truck and is headed down Route 22. He should be running out of gas about the time he hits the bridge. He's unarmed, so please don't hurt him. Thank you, Mr. An officer? Uh, I'm in labor. I need some help. of blue, fingers too, cunning all that's made
Thank you so much. Oh. This is for you. What? <laughs> Butterflies of America. Thank you. That's right, Danny. This was your granddaddy's watch. Someday it's gonna be yours, but in the meantime, I'll just hold on to it for you. We gotta get going. Mama's set on a treasure hunt. It's not a treasure hunt. It's the first archaeological dig for arrowheads, right? <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> 